Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video we are gonna build a weather alert app that will basically send us an email every day in the morning and tell us if it's going to rain that day and what temperature it is. We can customize this uh, logic however you want. You can send alerts uh, if the temperature is too high or uh, if it's snowing or uh, what you want. We'll also use uh, cron jobs to schedule this to run every morning at 8 a.m. So let's not waste any more time and get right into this. We first need to initialize an empty repository. Now we'll install some dependencies. We'll use Axios for making HTTP requests. We'll use SendGrid to send emails. And we'll use cron to schedule the script to run uh, every day. Now let's create an app.js where we'll uh, write our application. I will also copy paste a credentials.js where I'll store my SendGrid API key, the API key for the weather API we'll use and the email addresses that we'll use to send and receive the email. Now we can go ahead and require all our dependencies. Uh, as I said, Axios, SendGrid, Cron, and we'll also require the credentials.js. Now we'll use sgmail.setAPIKey to uh, set our API key that we read from our credentials file. So now we are good to go. We'll start with an uh, async wrapper function. So before we dive in and put all the code together inside that uh, async function, we'll uh, write two auxiliary functions that uh, will get the weather data for us and send the email. So starting with the get weather data, uh, function, we'll get the city as a parameter and we'll use uh, axios.get to make an HTTP request to the Open Weather API. We'll pass the city, the uh, API key and the units as parameters here. I I'll also passing the units because uh, I don't want to get the, the results in Kelvin. We'll also uh, use dot then because we want to uh, like clear the, the result we get and return only two things. The weather ID, uh, that's basically an ID of the uh, weather condition that it is, it's uh, raining, it's uh, snowing, etc. And we also want the temperature. Yeah, we can go ahead and define an async function called send email that will uh, get the temperature as a parameter. Uh, we'll use a uh, method.round because the API will return a float and uh, we'll want an int. And uh, now we can start to define the message object required by SendGrid. The first two properties here will be to and from uh, email addresses. Uh, next we'll have the subject of the email and last we'll have the HTML body of the, of the email. Now we can go ahead and call sgmail.send and pass that message object as a parameter in order to send the email. Going back up to our async function, we'll use a try catch block and inside that we'll call our first function uh, get weather data. Don't forget to uh, put an await before it because it will return a promise and I'll uh, pass an city as a parameter. I chose this city because I know it's raining uh, right now. Let's also uh, console log the result we get from the API just to see if it's okay. Now we'll uh, check and see if the weather ID is starting with five. Uh, that means that the weather is in the rain group. You can also define your own logic here based on the weather condition you want to check. If yes, we'll go ahead and call the send email function and pass the weather data dot as a parameter. Finally, if we catch an error, we'll just console log it. Before we run this, let's define an npm start command in our package.json. Now let's use this command. As you can see, the API response is uh, OK and the email was sent. Let's uh, jump into my inbox and check the email. As we can see, everything is looking uh, fine. And also, if we go ahead and check the weather information, it's correct. Yeah, going back to our code, we'll use the cron library to schedule the script to run every morning. We'll uh, define a new cron job and we'll use uh, 008 star 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 as our uh, cron job string 
This means that uh, the script will run every day at uh, 8 a.m. Now let's define an async function called run that will uh, be used by our cron job. Basically, we copy paste everything that's in our uh, wrapper async function and paste it in our run function. And don't forget to add it as a parameter to our cron job constructor. Yeah, we can go ahead and call cronjob.start in order to uh, start this uh, cron job. As you can see, we haven't got any errors, but now let's change the cron job string in order to actually see that it's running, because otherwise we'll have to wait until the next day at 8 a.m. And as we can see, it's running and it's sending emails. Now, don't forget to change the cron job string back to uh, 008. Yeah, we can go ahead and deploy this to your uh, hosting and if you uh, don't have one you can use something like Heroku or even Firebase Lambda functions, they have a cron job function that you can use to run the script every day. So that was it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you next time.